Hello everyone, General Apple here with another TFT video and today's opening portal is Lethal Legends. So game is gonna be a lot faster and we'll go Pandora. Simply because we got some really bad items. We got all the tank items and we want to mulligan all of those. And also we're gonna probably go for Mythic Behemoth because we got a really nice opener. And I don't think anyone is contesting us right now, at least not as far as I've seen. We're gonna recheck in a moment. Uh, Illoi, Ilya, and Nullus. So let's recheck real quick. Oh, we got an early encounter. Let's see, what do we have? For five rounds there, it's a front channel, and just lots of random rounds. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, let's sell. Everyone we don't need, you are rank 1, your rank 1, and your rank 1, you can be sold. That is good. Now, we do want the Hemoth more than anything. And we do want to reroll a bit. Nice, this is way better. Now we can get Mythic going. Perfect. So, unfortunately, none of this are a Kog'Maw item. By the way, we're not contested by anyone, right? Yeah, literally nobody is contesting us. Great! So we got three Mythic Behemoth, just the way I like it. Oh my god, wait, is that a, is that a level 2 Yone already? Oh, because pick up the letter. Oh, that is great, yeah, we have no chance. Dude, that's a Yone with two perfect items. Bruh. No way we're doing anything against that right now. Holy, that is crazy. I do love Pandora 1, just because it gives you a component and it still have the effect of Pandora. <laughs> oh, nice. That is insanely good. Okay, and we gotta end up getting a Kog'Maw, so... Now, the odd part is we actually do kind of need this item so we can save it. Or we can wait. Never a dull moment. Uh, Caitlyn is here for sure. Cho'Gath here, I don't know, Caitlyn, may nah, maybe Tankiness, Tankiness is way better. Ooh, so I need to save the Kog'Maw right now. Uh, we do have Caitlyn, let's take her out, and that's why I hate Darius so much. It's kind of cringe. And we can save this, and maybe aim for a crit. I think this is kind of good, let's save this, it's a necessary item. And we can always take the tier from the carousel. Man, people are strong right now. Holy. I thought that I was powerful. But I guess I'll pick up. I don't have enough damage right now. That's good. So we do have dibs on an item. Which we can use to get a tier. Or a crit. Yeah, never mind. We're not getting the tier. Okay. This guy didn't end up taking it. That's perfect. Oh my god, it was the furthest away from me. Thank god, we actually got it. I mean, I love Darius and I also kind of hate him, simply because he's blocking your bench. And I mean, most of the time it wouldn't matter, but I went for a hyper roll build, so it kind of does. He does limit me a lot right now. Which kind of sucks. I mean, yeah. There's the tier, we can sell you, put you here and I mean what are we gonna do like not purchase an eco dude like wh what are we gonna do yes. there, there's nothing we can do we need to slow roll I don't, I don't want to level up I put a unit in and I don't want to sell in Lawi so yeah I guess I'll sell the Malphite Man, the Darius is so bad. Oh my god. It's so bad. Let's buy Yasuo and put him here. Okay, if we're winning this, this is good. Our Kog'Ma is giga purple right now. Even though we can't crit, he still do does a lot of flat damage. That is great. That is great. Nice. We ended up winning. By the way, if you saw, my LP went from 24 to like 0 because I actually lost last game, which kind of sucks. Okay, let's roll a bit. Uh, no, Kathleen, we don't need you anymore. 
Okay, thank God. Now we made space. So you put a Nico instead. Let's buy a Caitlyn. Maybe she'll turn into a Kogma. Or a Cho'Gath, potentially. I do need to waste all of my gold after this. Because we were hyper rolling. Please, this Darius may be over. Man, I love this build so much. This build is so good. Okay, we're clapping, we're clapping. But we did went for damage item and not tanky item, so we are paying the price for it. You can clearly see the enemy reaches Kogmo like that. Just a second. Awesome, we did end up getting a Kogma. So we will sell you, unfortunately. And buy a Malphite. And let's roll away all of our gold. Nice, we hit a Cho'Gath. So we don't need to roll away all of our gold right now. Da -da 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 -da. There we go, some money. Thank you, sir. I'll take any item, literally. Nope. We need a crit. Nope. So we're gonna aim for a crit here. Even though this item is really good for us, the giant belt. We can wait for a crit. Nice, we did end up getting a Kog'Maw. And thank god the Darius effect has stopped. Thank god. So we need to roll away all of our gold. Nice. That is good. So now we slow roll at 5, I believe. We can save money. There's no need... Uh, yeah, we're gonna drop to 40-something. Uh, we can roll away all of our gold and hope to hit something, but we can also just wait. I don't think we should. I don't think it's worth it right now. We'll slow roll at 5. We got, we got our carry. Cho'Gath is really good, but it's okay. We can be okay without him right now. We want higher chances on the Nico, while still keeping a pretty decent chance on the Cho'Gath. Yeah, the dude got massacred in just seconds. Level 3 Kog mode. <laughs> I'm uncontested, I can do pretty much whatever I like, and the fact that I have this item consistency is just crazy. So obviously, we're gonna aim for tanky items right after getting the crit for the Kog mode. Nice, we got it. No, your enemy is absolutely trash. It's going to be epic. Every time a unique mythic champions become epic, gain through player health and Shingar, gain a Cho'Gath and a Kog'Maw. A unique mythic champion become... Sure. I mean, yeah. I, I assume we're gonna get it preemptively. I mean, reactively. So, that is insane. We actually got our Cho'Gath. Now, Caitlyn is in. We got Sniper bonus. Of course, we put this on you. And we end up getting the belt anyway. So this is good. We haven't lost anything. This is great. So now we just... Yep, I guess. Keep doing it the way we do. And we're gonna slow roll at 5. Because we only down 10%, which isn't really only. That's a lot. 10% is a lot. But it's still fine. We should definitely at this point save some gold. Okay, this is the first place. This is the guy on the winning streak. We are way more powerful right now. But still, we got a Yone. But his Yone did end up targeting the Caitlyn and not the Kogma, which is huge. Nice! Okay, if he would have targeted the Kogma, we would have lost. But we got lucky here. We got lucky here. He targeted the Caitlyn. That is really good. We took down number one. And we are on a small winning streak. So if we can land a natural Cho'Gath, that would be nice. I kind of don't want to reroll for him. I kind of want to level up to 6 and have some really good chances with the Nico findings. And I mean, what this guy's building? Fortune something, Dryad Cringe, Story, Story. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. He's building Heavenly Reapers, it seems. And this guy is building Umbral. Okay. 
So again, uh, as we said before, we're literally uncontested. It's pretty good. It's called most smashing. Holy. I, I don't think it's that good, but it's, it's still really good with what we're building. And we didn't really have any other option that would seem to be good. So, we started a win streak. We're still in the middle, which is actually great. That gives us an item. I guess we should go for another belt so we can create war monks. Add the defensive component to each champion in the car. So, oh. Oh, we have a Nautilus. Oh, I kind of want him. Oh, I don't think anyone will let us have him. Yeah, immediately, dude. Immediately. Didn't even think about that. He just took him. But we also have a Lilia here. Which is crazy good. So we got a unit. Nice. And she, lo and behold, she didn't even, she did have the belt we needed anyway. Even though, like, half of this, <laughs> half of the circus is like a, a belt. With a belt. There we go. We got him out by two. We're not gonna get him on three, so we can take him out of the planner. And it's really good. We actually got Lilia. So we can slow roll a five, which I believe we should. For Cho'Gath's sake. And we still have a really nice percentage on the Nico. I don't want to level up more, because if I level up more, the chances of seeing one more Trogaf goes out the window. And let's see what's up. And I wish we had that level 3 Trogaf already. Okay, this is a really chunky Garen, that's a problem. And our... Oh, we should put the item on the Caitlyn. Even though I kind of wish to put Shojin on you, so I will actually put the item on you, because I have no way of rethinking it. And I believe we won this. Yeah. You're out, kid. You're out of the action. So, she's gonna be in soon. That's why I put the sword on her, because I want to give her Shojin. Man, I love level 1 Pandora. It's so much better than the rest. The Prismatic Pandora is so garbage. I mean, getting a random Radiant item and constantly reroll for him with a Pandora. Just sucks. Nico 2. That's huge. Nice. Trogue after We got him. Now, we can force a level here. But we will lose interest. But we can also guarantee a win streak. Which I really do enjoy. This is crazy good. But I kind of want you. Because we are tanky. So that is fine. We lost one interest, but we ended up gaining a lot more power and pretty much secured our next victory. Which is always great. Yeah, we're smashing, dude. We're smashing that Galio and doing shit, son. You're out. There we go. There we go, kid. Finally, we're making up for last game loss. Which I went 7, but, you know, I took a huge risk, but this was fine. I was only at 20 points. So, losing 7th place, you can go below 0. So, it's actually quite good to take risk at this point. Okay, this guy is... Giga powerful. Oh, he wasted all of his gold at level 7. Okay, sure, he did a Hail Mary. That is fine. We're chilling at level 6. That's really good. And of course, now we need to just level up because we got all of the units. What? Oh my god. We ended up getting a crit. Wait, we need to wait for the Warmongs. And we need to wait for a tier to be here. Get it? Let's go. You got this. Now we really need one of these to be a tier. I, I can put a cloak on the Cho'Gath. Which is kinda nice, I'm not gonna lie. It is kinda nice. Uh, we are likely to play against this dude, so let's, again, rank up, put an Ilaoi in, just so we'll be more tanky. And I do want to really put the cloak on the Cho'Gath, but I also really need tier for you. 
so we'll go for the tier. There we go. There we go. Look at the Lily on entry. It's crazy good. Cogmao literally shredding while Cho'Gaf is burning. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What was that miss, dude? That was really close. And he wasted all of his gold. He did a Hail Mary at level 7. And we still end up winning. So, yeah. That was number one. Now we're the only dude with a win streak here. <laughs> I'm the only one. Ash reveals the upcoming phone for the rest of the game. Sick. Okay. How do we see the next opponent? Do we click here? And he just shows you? Oh, that's really good. And we're really Gucci right now. Big grab bag is kind of insane, but the harm assist is crazy. Heavenly Crest is also something that I really like. The Omni Vamp is pretty much the same as harm assist. Pretty much the same, right? But it gives us way better bonus from what we already have. I do like the Heavenly Crest. Heroic grab bag. No, we don't need this. Okay, we're going for a Heavenly Bag. There we go. So now we get some really insane Omni Vamp while also amplifying other bonuses, which I really, really like. Oh, that's funny. We end up getting one more warm on. Okay, and now we're going level 8 because we have all of our units level 3. Well, all the units we want. We won't get a Nico, I'm pretty sure, because we're level 7 already. So we might as well go level 8 and get some Nautiluses. Okay, this guy is also really scary. I think this was the guy with a winning streak. So he's really powerful. Cho'Gath kind of insane. Uh, come on, kill the Lux, please! Before she kills us, man. Okay, thank god I have the Lily as the backup, but she really needs a Shoujin. She can't function without it. There we go, we won. She really needs a Shoujin. Thank you. Oh, we actually got a Shoujin straight up. Which is hilarious. So, as a final item, I guess we... She has uh, a kind of voice crack there, which is kind of sus. So, I guess we can go for the Baron. The I mean, the Nasher, <laughs> the Baron. We can go for the Nasher suit. I do really like this. There's a really fine item. It's a really good item. We're on insane winning streak. That is crazy. Oh, this guy might win. This guy might win. Let's see how this turns up. Never mind. It wasn't even close, boys. I just saw the level 3 now and I kind of went like... That's crazy. <laughs> but it didn't do anything. That's good. You're dead. Let's see how much Lilia is doing. She's doing pretty nice damage. Obviously not the best because she's level 1 and not with full items. Okay, if I can get my filthy paws on that Nautilus, it would be awesome. But I'm pretty sure we won't. So in that case, we will go for a sword. Uh, I mean for a bow. My bad. Nobody's taking the Nautilus right now. Now this guy will take him. Nope, he went for the listen. Okay, we got a free... Dude, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll take a free Nautilus, my boy. That is crazy. That is crazy good. Nobody counterpicked me. And we went Mythic, so we got the gold. And of course, we are going to purchase the level, so Nautilus can become epic even faster. There we go. That's the entire lineup. And... We ended up getting the belt, so now we just need the bow, and that's it. After this, we got Nasher Tooth, and that's crazy synergy. Crazy good synergy. And of course, after that, we're gonna focus completely, on, entirely, on the tanky item for the Choga. Okay, this is second place. This guy is kinda tough. But we are kind of smashing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, we stomped. That's why I love taking uncontested builds. That's the reason. I mean, you just roll and you get all of your units and you win. 
It is so much better than playing a, a good contested build, even though Mythic Bamus is still kind of good. Even it has been struck a little bit by the nerfs, if I'm not mistaken. It's still really, really good. Especially if uncontested, because this is a hyper roll build. So you can snowball really quick. Lux Rank with two random support item, the Vanishing Three Rounds. Uh, okay. Zep Zephyr is a kick. And Locket, perfect. We'll put this on the Nico. And Tear. We'll wait for it to transform. Now, question is do we go level 9 up in here? And I'm pretty sure we do, right? We want our epics. We're, we're gonna go level 9. And let's see, which trade do we need? Exalted. No, we can't. Um, Mythic, we can't really. Let's go Heavenly. We might as well just go Wukong, right? There's no harm in it. That's what I like about Heavenly. You can always go Wukong. Yeah, everything else is perfect. So let's go Wukong for Heavenly. Get some attack speed. Pretty good. So we are gonna go level 9 to see a better chance for Epic. Okay, this dude is the guy with the Yone. He's really powerful. Never mind. We smashed him. We smashed him. You're out, kid. You're out of the action. So, obviously, we're gonna go level 9 here because we're giga winning. It's insane. Look at the difference between me and second place. Bro, that is crazy. Yeah, we're not purchasing any Nikos. We can take you guys out of the planner. And that's really good. We might see a bow here. If we're not, we're most likely to see it in the next stage after Pandora. Wow, Pandora did such wonders. Such wonders. Beautiful consistency. Even though you need to wait for the items because of the priority list. It's still really good. Oh, okay. No, we didn't end up getting a bow. Let's take something random. Oh, we got a spatula. That is crazy good. Hold on, dude. Hold on. What? We actually got a spatula? That is crazy. Okay, we got the item. Okay, so let's see. What do we need? Wait, what, what Wukong is again? Uh, he's heavenly, which we we already got the emblem. And he's also a sage. I, I don't think we can build a sage emblem. Oh, we can take mythic emblem with a tear. No, we didn't get it. Okay, so we'll wait, obviously, for it to transform to a tanky item. Of course, we're gonna put this on you. And this is really good. So, we are gonna save the spatula for a tier. We're gonna make a mythic emblem. Then we can go for Wei instead of the Wukong. Then we'll have all mythics. Oh, wait, I lost. I almost won. Wait, hold! Hold! Ah! One second of winning! Ah, I'm almost level 9, though. It's fine. Ah, that's crazy. That's so crazy. Okay, started winning streak. We almost won, though. This is totally fine. We got the health to play with. Oh, we got the Huawei as well. That is sick. That is sick. And we end up getting the tier, so now we make a Mythic Emblem. Now, who do we want to give Mythic to? I guess, at this point, we're gonna give it to the Laue, right? Because she is pretty chunky. There we go, enjoy it. And we'll wait for it to transform to a tanky item. It did. So we, we shall make a gargoyle. Better than nothing. And then we're gonna level up with a way in. And we're kinda Gucci. Great, we got a PvE round. That is awesome. We should be able to win this. And now we'll buy a level, even though we are going to lose a little bit of interest, we're, we're going to purchase level 9. Just simply because I want to start seeing units, and also I want to put a way in. So let's put him right next to the Cogmo as protection. There we go. Now we'll start painting Bard, because it takes quite some time. Obviously if you see a legendary, it will be even better. And I guess we can actually roll. Rolling is kind of good. I don't want to take in my units. Maybe we got level 2 something. 
Oh, we did end up getting Nautilus right in the last moment. So that is pretty much the build. That is great. Yeah, that is fantastic. Now we're just smashing. That's all. That's, that's pretty much the build, dude. We just need to wait for him to go Mythic in four rounds, which might not even happen. But right now we're smashing. Nobody has a chance, dude. You're out of the action, dude. You're out. <laughs> yeah, so at bare minimum, I'm going to be second place. At bare minimum. Oh my god, the way with the kids. Um, no, no way they're letting me have it. No way he's letting me have it. Way weed against you? No way, dude. I'll take the Lilia. I'll take the Lilia, though. Wait, what? Dude, people have let me skip over it. Yeah. Ah, I rolled you, dude. Oh my god, you tried to block me and I pretended. Shame on you. You actually gave it to me. So easily. Oh man, I kind of wish I didn't have Nashers right now. Okay, it's fine. Let's put this on the way. I mean, Nashers is still really good because she casts uh, she casts cheap. No, this is way better than Ginsu, yeah, because she casts for cheap. Way is the one that needs the Ginsu. If we can get another Shoujin, it would be awesome. But for now, this is fine. So yeah, there is nothing we can pretty much do but wait. For Way to paint us another copy of himself. And this guy is Volibear 3. Ooh, that is problematic. Volibear 3 is problematic. He's healing a lot. Whoa, he's giga powerful. Dude, what is this heal? I can't kill him. I literally can't kill him. He just heals. Ah, uh, yeah, he counter my build. I need someone else to take him. I need someone else to win against him. His build is too good. Or we can go for an epic. I guess I guess we'll go for an epic level 3. That's quite possibly the only chance we're ever gonna get. Yeah, he's focusing all of his power here. It's okay, we'll change the lineup real quick. And Choya should be here. We can be here. I guess. <clears throat> so this guy, we're definitely taking, right? Yeah, Volibear level 3 is insane. He's not even level 9 and he's still smashing us. But we are going to paint one Lilia. Maybe it will give us a chance. Well, this guy is, yeah, deleted from a distance. Absolutely no chance. And I assume he deleted the other guy. So yeah, now we're against each other. The only chance is Lilia level 3, otherwise he's winning. His build counters mine. Now we did became epic. Which is kind of good. Obviously we're gonna change our lineup at the last second. So, yeah. Oh my god, we got a natural Lilia. That is crazy. Okay, we need an item. That's a Cho'Gaff item, my man. That is the final item as well. That is crazy good. Uh, I guess we can still wait. We can still generate interest. This is fine. Doesn't seem like he's changing. I guess the order is fine. Yeah, it didn't change anything. Okay, let's try this. If we don't win like this, after changing the order and having more units protected, yeah, I don't think we can win this. Unless we get a Lilia 3. Volibear just heals too much, man. We literally can't touch him. It's kind of untouchable. Bro brother can die. Cho'Gap is way tankier now, that is true. Okay, we are kind of smashing. Okay, we didn't end up getting it. So the order did, did end up winning us the game here. I mean, the round. 
And we got Mythic with Way. So we got the bonuses. And I'm guessing we're gonna change the order last second. Let's try to roll for Alilia because the game is almost over. We almost got it. We almost got it. Paint us Alilia, my man. Way too. Yeah, we don't need more ways. We don't need more Nullus. Nothing. Okay, I did end up changing the Volibear last second, but now he's against the Cho'Gath and the other tanks. So the or his order is just bad. He just changed the Volibear last second and not the other units. That, that is really bad. Because now he's against the Cho'Gath one-on-one. -on -one, and our Lilia is giga powerful. Yeah, we're smashing everyone else. That, that was a misplay, my man. Yeah, I won. That's it. That was a misplay, my dude. GG's. <laughs> oh my god. That's absolutely crazy. We did get the first dub. After all of this, we got it. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, what a build. What a tense match. What a tense match. Holy GG, my man.